would would Trump and, and his cronies be dumb enough to take FedEx boxes worth of indictable materials and drag them uh, to his house? Yes. I hope. I used to say in uh, my former office, we don't catch the smart ones. Um, people do all kinds of things That's because true. they are either too foolish to understand the consequences or too arrogant to believe anybody will. Bro, ever the look fact for that them. they opened the safe implies that they had a, the fattest fucking warrants. Okay. You can't issue a warrant. Like just you can't just literally open up a safe even during a regular, uh, uh, like regular raid. It means that they knew that there were there was material inside of that safe or at least had reasonable suspicion for uh, uh, important evidence to be trapped inside of that safe that a federal judge allowed them to go through. If That is, of course, if Donald Trump is saying what Donald Trump is saying is correct. We know this. It is somebody who is close to former President Trump, and we know that a judge has found probable cause that a specific crime uh, it, it, it has been either been committed or is being committed, and that evidence of that crime exists on the premises at Mar-a-Lago. Not just on the in premises, remember. Inside of his safe, okay? That's actually huge. That there are classified documents in the possession of the former president in his home. Who could potentially be at risk for being arrested? I, I assume at that point they'd have to figure out, well, okay, who brought this box here? But at the end of the day, is that alone something that could lead to an arrest? If they say, look, somebody's got to tell us how this box got into this building. Could that lead to an arrest of the president? I think Dark Brandon as a meme was dead. And then this happened. And now the meme is alive. But also now it's unironic. Finding classified documents would alarm government officials for two reasons. One is the potential crimes that you suggested, possessing classified materials outside of their uh, proper receptacle. The other is who else may have had access to it. So it's sometimes referred to as a spill, even if it's just an unintentional uh, possession of a classified document outside of where it's supposed to be stored, because it, it, you don't know who may have seen it. And documents are classified because they protect uh, methods, means, sources that are the nation's secrets. And so if those secrets are out and they get into the hands of foreign adversaries, that could be very dangerous to certain people who are serving as sources. So that's one area of great concern. The other is potential criminal liability. And so if someone inadvertently brought boxes of documents thinking it was, uh, you know, framed pictures with uh, Vladimir Putin or something, uh, that is unlikely to result in criminal charges. There are some charges for uh, negligent handling of classified information, but as we saw right. in the case of Hillary Clinton, we've never seen somebody charged unless there's a willful violation. And so, you know, taking this material either to harm the United States or to help a foreign adversary. And so you'd have to show that level of willful intent before somebody could be charged criminally. Do we know, and this is a, a general sort of informational question, we know Mar-a-Lago is the, is the home of the former president. Do we know who else actually lives there? Do we know what kind of people are there in and out on a regular basis? I, I alluded to the fact that we don't know if the former first lady is actually there, but do we know if, if he has staffers, former staffers that live with him? Do we know, is it just sort of a big you know, empty Wayne Manor where it's just him sitting across from a big table by himself every night. How do we actually know who's there and, and who could possibly be implicated if something is found in that home? Yeah, you know, again, without knowing what this search is for, it's hard to know. But one of the things that the agents would need to do is to conduct investigation to figure that out. Who has access to that property? Who is coming and going? Because they can only search the, the property of uh, that is authorized in that search warrant. So if it's a place, a resort where guests come and go, or you have people right. working or other people living, you have to make sure that you're only searching the premises that are covered by that warrant. So that would be some legwork that the agents would have done in anticipation of this warrant. Going forward, we now have this... No! This is a pretty big deal yes dude are you insane executed, why it was carried out and of course what these agents yes chatter when the former president is under f uh, under federal investigation for his personal involvement in the uh, insurrection attempt the failed insurrection attempt of january 6 and then the fbi raids his home yes that is a pretty big deal i mean it, it even if it's nothing, even if it's a nothing burger, which it isn't, it is a big deal. Um, it's awesome content because I mean, God damn, that's great. Like that doesn't happen ever. Gloria, what do you read into this? You know, we, again, we don't know exactly the reason. We don't know what, what probable crime, 
uh, was established to a level that a federal judge said to go ahead and execute this search warrant. But we do know that all those things were present. And, and here we are with a search warrant and a large number of FBI agents today raiding Mar-a-Lago. I know it is it is kind of stunning. Uh, FBI agents raiding uh, the home of a former president who was not there, by the way, uh, as Caitlin was saying. And we also know if you go back to April, we were reporting and others were reporting I gotta pee, I'll be back. that the Justice Department began investigating the handling of these 15 boxes of White House records, including classified information that had been taken to Mar-a-Lago. I do not know whether this has anything to do with that or whether uh, those documents right. that they got uh, led them to decide, well, maybe there's more there than we than we received. I, gotta pee, I'll be back. I mean, I'm just speculating here and let me make that clear. But um, I do think that it is an extraordinary step for them uh, to do this. So there must be something they are looking for. And um, Ellie can talk about that uh, more than I can, but it seems to me to get a judge to say you can do this on the home of a former president, it has to be pretty striking. So, Ellie, let me ask here, because a lot of people watching this, and obviously as part of, you know, we led the program, we were talking about the text messages that the January 6th committee had just obtained from Alex Jones, right? So when you talk about, in the context we're in, an FBI raid on Mar-a-Lago, a lot of people are going to jump to the DOJ investigation into January 6th. But I want to be clear, Ellie, we don't know that these things are related or not, right? Mm -hmm. Could it be something specifically related, as Gloria is indicating, to those 15 boxes of classified documents that were not supposed to be removed from the National Archive, that were supposed to be sent there, that went to Mar-a-Lago. Could it be as simple as the crime is removing those documents? Is it possible? Yeah, it could be, Erin. It could really be any federal crime under the sun. When you fill out these affidavits that you bring to a federal judge to get a search warrant, you have to name a crime. You give the section number and you have to say, here's our evidence. That could be information, as Stephanie was alluding to, is possibility from a source, from an informant. It could be information that you got from text. It could be any kind of information at all. But you do have to say what specific crime you are investigating. Now, those papers typically don't come out until much later in the process. If they do come out, the first thing I would look for is, well, what crime did they say? That will give us a big indication. Right. But yes, uh, unauthorized destruction of classified materials is a federal crime. There are several potential federal crimes relating to January 6th. So it really could be any federal crime. But one other point, Aaron, that I think is important to understand. People yeah. may be wondering, well, when do you execute a search warrant as opposed to send someone a subpoena, right? And the answer as a federal yes. prosecutor is, if you don't believe that the person's going to faithfully comply with the subpoena, if you don't trust the person to fully turn over the documents, we know he or wasn't there. Some Chat, danger, we know they just mentioned it. Concern here, but a search warrant tells we know me he wasn't that there. DOJ and the FBI did not have faith that Donald Trump or whoever the subject of this search warrant would be down at Mar-a-Lago would simply say, "Sure, thanks for the subpoena. Here's all the documents requested." That they established, were able to establish that they had some concern yeah. that they might not be given all the evidence that they're entitled to. And it had to be a pretty... And, and again, it, yeah, go ahead, Gloria. It had to be a pretty intense... I'm not going to lie. This is the most excited I've been since Trump got COVID. Like, literally, just... So the question is, and, and again, we don't, you know, we don't know the answer. He says they went into his safe. Since he's not at Mar-a-Lago, somebody had to report that to him. Um, and did they do it specifically because right. they knew he wasn't at Mar-a-Lago? Um, and if it was this intensive, um, and it seems to me that maybe it was broad. I just, I, 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 it, it's just very hard to know. So all we can do is speculate here. Right. So, so let me ask you, Stephanie, and I want to get Ellie to weigh in on this as well. But, but as we try to understand, you know, obviously this is hugely significant, which whatever it is related to, whether it be related to. January 6th, whether related to documents that were uh, wrongly removed from Washington or something else. But then in that, Stephanie, what stands out is the safe, which the former president himself is the one who told us about, right? He's saying someone broke into his safe. So that would imply they're not just checking for a bunch of boxes. So can, can you, Stephanie, help us understand a little bit more uh, why something like that would have stood out to him or why a safe in particular would have been a place where he kept things. 
So again, this is going to be me just speculating and going off of my years of time with him. I will tell you, though, the fact that he mentioned the safe in the statement stood out to me immediately because that's he likes to get ahead of things. That's something he used to tell me all the time. You just get ahead of it and then it'll be OK. I think that there's something in there that he didn't want anybody to see. Now, it could be anything. It could be stuff he doesn't want his wife to see. It could I mean, it could be anything. Again, we're speculating is that the whole panel has talked about. But um the fact that they they made their way to the safe, I don't know if it's the office safe, I don't know if it's their apartment safe, but the fact that he mentioned it, it really, really, it struck me, and I think that, that he's nervous. So, Ellie, what do you make of that? Because, again, we need one of the photos, things you first man. mentioned, and, you know, I remember this, right, when Michael Cohen we need to see photos. had his FBI, uh, th th they showed up at his door, right? I need right? photos of the, the fucking device. FBI going the all up and down. Okay, that's fine. One thing we know about the former president, right, is that he's not somebody who's putting things in email and, and on a computer and a laptop, right? That's not where you're going to find some treasure trove in his particular case. So, Ellie, it's not as if there's, well, I mean, who knows, right, but the, some secret cell phone uh, hidden in the safe. While it could be, what stands out to you about the word safe and why he is, as Stephanie said, clearly trying to get ahead of that specifically? It is very common for search warrants to seek access to documents or records, whether they're paper documents or electronic documents. And the rule basically is, for the most part, when you execute a search warrant, you have the right to go into any area where those items could be stored. If we're talking about paper documents or even if there was a cell phone or a laptop, that would certainly be something that you could find in a safe. Just to make a, a, a contrary example, sometimes, for example, if you have a stolen car case, you'll say, we're looking for this stolen car in a garage. You can't go look in a safe because there's not going to be a stolen car in a safe. However, if you're looking for documents, again, whether they're printed paper documents or electronics or cell phones, then you can look in a safe. It's quite common in cases when you are looking for documents that you get access into locked locked closets, safes, that kind of thing. So that's fairly common. Again, we don't know the specifics here, but it, it is often the case that FBI agents are looking for documents. The other thing that I think is important. Yeah, I mean, th that's important. Ben Protest to me, the search related to the 15 boxes of material Trump took to Mar-a-Lago last year per three sources. <laughs> God, liberals are so deranged, but this is so funny. Like liberals are so incredibly deranged. FBI searches Trump's home. Oh, come, dude, what the f Look at this, bro. This should be illegal, unironically. Like, y'all are crazy for paywalling this shit. Jesus Christ. Let's hear what else is going on here, and then I'll, and then I'll go been. into reading that uh, article. Caitlin Collins, I know you've been trying to reach out to the Department of Justice to get more information about what, what caused this, what prompted it. What are they telling you? Yeah, no, they this told is my from colleague 2019, Cohen, they man. are not going to be commenting. So this no is comment old from the story, Justice chatter. Department, no comment from the White House either. But Aaron, I will tell you what we do know as we await confirmation over what this search warrant was over is that there are two investigations related to Trump that are happening right now. One is the mishandling of classified information. That is the one that could potentially deal with documents that Trump, after he left office, took with him to Mar-a-Lago. And the other mm -hmm. one is into the January 6th insurrection. That is what two things that we know are happening. We know some of his former aides have been interviewed regarding to that one. But when it comes to the documents, I will note that we did report earlier this year that investigators had issued a subpoena to the National Archives because they wanted access to more information about what exactly documents were taken to Mar-a-Lago, how they were handled while they were there, what they found, uh, of course, when they requested the return of those documents. And so that is something that is helpful context, I think, when you're looking at this and you're wondering why. I'm going to tune over to Fox News and do some hogwash on this the in a little bit. Home in Florida. And I will say that at that time, when we noted about that subpoena to the National Archives, we were told by the former president's current staff that they maintained he had handled all documents properly. Clearly, there is some disagreement over that that has prompted this investigation that is mm. happening into how those documents were handled. And so that is remarkable in and of itself as we're waiting to see confirmation of this. Again, Trump was not actually at Mar-a-Lago when this raid was carried out. He's instead at Trump Tower in New York. He's often spending his summers in the Northeast. And I will note in his statement, Aaron, he's very critical of 
Democrats. He says Democrats desperately don't want him to run for president in 2024. He is indicating that he believes this is politically motivated. I will note, he says it was a large number of FBI agents that were at Mar-a-Lago today. He did pick the current FBI di director, Chris Wray. It's a decision he said many times mm -hmm. that he regrets, but it is an FBI director that was right. handpicked by Trump and put into that position. All right, uh, Gloria, I want to ask you about Big friends else. all yeah, around you me. Said, you stood out to you about the former president's statement, and that was that they spent a significant amount of time there today. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the, what, what more from what, what he's saying in what you've described as a long statement putting out, trying to get ahead of this, what more stands out to you? I, I, look, I think that, um, as Ellie was saying, you know, they don't have to say we're specifically looking for this document that was potentially not handed over to the archives. They can be yeah. as broad as they want. And um, I think that's what probably happened today and um, got uh, the former president so incensed uh, to release this, you know, this large statement. I mean, if this is about the handling of those 15 boxes of documents right. that went yes. to Mar-a-Lago. Yes. The Justice Department Chopper footage. started investigating Chopper in footage. April, yes. And there was a subpoena that was part of the formal process to the archives to kind of get uh, by the FBI to get a handle on what was in those documents, as Caitlin was saying. So maybe there was a discovery that there was something missing that needed to be there. Or, you know, they raised mm. other questions about why wasn't this included in the box? Or maybe there's more at Mar-a-Lago that we didn't get that we should know about. I need more, though. So, I need you know, more. I, think, I need more. Again, I need we more. Don't know I need specifically more. Uh, what this raid was about, but it seems to me that when you connect it to Mar-a-Lago, what do we know about Mar-a-Lago? Well, there were these uh, documents, including classified documents, that are potentially have been mishandled, and so right. it makes sense that the FBI would be kind of would be looking at that. Ellie, do you believe that we will find out what the crime was for, uh, you know, that the, the, they established probable cause for from a judge? So we'll be under, able to understand whether this was related to the documents or January 6th or something else. Harry, let's go to Dan Bongino, the host of Unfiltered on Saturday night. Dan, your quick emotional reaction. I think everyone's a little emotional here uh, about this raid. We've invaded nations at top of the data yeah, for less I mean, than what our own FBI is doing right now. Why do we put up with a blatant right third world thuggery from a again, man? Third world bullshit. I mean, every word of that. I don't care that it's cable Ooh! news. I was Ooh! a federal agent. Give I me raised more! my right hand. Give me and more! I swear to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States, Woo! and I love this country. I'm this smoking is a on it. This freaking disgrace. A disgrace. We don't live in Cuba. We don't live under Kim Jong-un. We live in a constitutional republic, a representative democracy. You have a bunch of FBI agents raiding the home of a former president because they don't like his politics? Are you kidding me? You ah! spent this whole show, yes. Jesse, and I've spent my entire time either on Fox or on my podcast exposing the left for claiming Russia interfered in an election as Hillary Clinton played, paid off a bunch of foreign agents, her team literally oh, to so fabricate good. a story so rewarding. that occupied the nation for four years. What's she doing right now? Getting a manicure in freaking Chappaqua. She's not doing squat. Nothing. Hunter Biden is having sex on tape while doing crack, while doing crack. And what does he do? Wait, I don't get it. Like, why are they, Imagine. why are they so mad, bro? Hunter I Biden, Hunter Biden is goaded. Okay, get mad at Hunter Biden all you want. Last time I checked, Hunter Biden was not the president. So what's up? Country where you were allowed to challenge a elect an election. There's even a process, the ECA, the Electoral Count Act. You may not like it, but it's a process. How do I know it's a process? Because some people are trying to reform it. You may not like it, but now you send the FBI. Let me tell you something. I have been, I have paid due deference to the FBI for a long time. And a lot of listeners didn't like it because I work with some very good people over there who have since retired. The management of the FBI has now shredded any single shred sliver of credibility this agency had left. 
Nobody will take them seriously from this point on. It is over. You've heard the examples. Stone, Manafort, Cohen, over and over. Are they good guys? Are they bad guys? I don't know. I don't care. I don't know them. All I'm telling you is you cannot tell me we still live in a constitutional republic and not the freaking third world when you have Hillary Clinton paying foreign agents to interfere with an election, people lying on the road repeatedly, Hunter Biden doing- The best part is like, arrest her too. Oh my God, go ahead. Make my day. Oh, dude, can you imagine how sweet uh, that would be? They're in Mar-a-Lago. This is some third world garbage that happened tonight. And I'm telling you, the FBI management, here's a solution, last thing. We have now got to win in 2022. You have no choice now, folks. Oh, we don't like the swampy Republicans. I don't like them either. Republicans may not be the solution to your problems, but Democrats are certainly the cause of all your problems right now. If there was ever a clarion call to remove your ass from the seat and go vote in 2022, this is it. And there has to be not only hearings, but a total total house cleaning at the top of the DOJ and the FBI. Stop. When, when the left is complaining about one firing, fire 10 more people the next day. Stop. And then when the New York Times starts crapping their diaper and whining about it. What's happening right now? Why is there so much incredible shit popping off, dude? Oh my God. Barack Obama. I spent two years on his detail around the world's hot zones. So I'm not going to be lectured by some a-hole leftist about anything. They didn't see my kid crying as I was flying around the world to protect the guy they loved. He was the president. I did my job. This is freaking embarrassing. There should be a massive house cleaning. And I'm telling you, please, God, I am begging you to vote in 2022, or you might not recognize this place afterwards. I Thank think you. people are going to flood. That's great. To the They're like flailing and doing, just go out to vote, sweaty. I love that. No, that's great. They're like turning into the Democrats. The moment the Democrats or the moment that like anyone takes action against the Republicans, they start flailing around and turning into like libs. They're like, please just vote. Vote harder. Vote harder. President I know you don't like the Republicans, but vote harder for them, please. Donald J. Trump has been going on for years with now the fully debunked Russia, Russia, Russia scam, impeachment hoax number one, impeachment hoax number two, and so much more. It just never ends. It is a political targeting at the highest level. Hillary Clinton was able to delete an acid watch 33,000 emails after they were subpoenaed by Congress. Absolutely nothing has happened to hold Bro, her. I'm so happy I took a day off, dude. God damn. I cannot believe it, dude. What a gift. What an incredible fucking gift, dude. Oh my lord. Power to the people and truly Look deliver how mad for they our are. country. Like we have never seen before. The establishment hated it as they watched my endorsed candidates win big victories and see my dominance in all polls. And they are trying to stop me. And the Republican Party wants more. The lawlessness, political persecution, and witch hunt must be exposed and stopped. I will continue to fight for the great American people. It's not just about the MAGA movement. It's not just about the Republican Party. This is much, much bigger than politics. This is explosive and dangerous stuff the Biden administration has done. And I think they're going to pay a serious price for this. Dan Bongino, I'll give you one final reaction. I just want to say in closing, listen, America, they're laughing at you. The left thinks this is hilarious. It if is. If you doubt me, just He's go to right. any of their goofy platforms, Twitter or elsewhere right now. They Twitch. think this Twitch. is Twitch.tv slash Hasanabi. Say it. Say it. You know what's really hilarious? You going out tomorrow if you're not registered to vote and doing it. That's really hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Go out this to vote, sweaty. Really go out to vote. If you don't vote in 2022. Remember, the, mark the date, folks. It is now 740 Eastern time on the Jesse Waters show on August 8th. Remember the date I told you this. You aren't going to recognize your country He's if you so don't right. fix this. Yeah. Oh, my and God. Staff. Dark, Joe dark Biden Brandon, baby. Dark Brandon, all the way. bring people together and calm things down after the Trump presidency. And he just burned everything to the ground with what his administration did tonight. This is insane. Dan Bongino, thanks for joining us. Thanks. Now let's go to Fox News national correspondent Matt Finn, who has details about what was taken from Mar-a-Lago by the FBI. 
Jesse, the New York Times reports the search, according to two people familiar with the investigation, appears to be focused on material that Mr. Trump had brought with him to Mar-a-Lago, his private club and residence, after he left the White House. Those boxes contained many pages of classified documents, according to a person familiar with their contents. The New York Times reports Mr. Trump delayed returning 15 boxes of material. Wait, here's the thing. I don't even give a about the contents of the material i don't even care if it's like it's a nothing burger the fact that they're flailing and they, it makes them so mad and it makes them so sad that like their big beautiful boy got raided is enough that's that's great i'm happy i'll take it that's a gift don't like don't assume that he's going to jail or anything which would be super sick if that happened obviously but like it's awesome it's awesome that like this happened and, and it's just like he's very upset about it that's great of the raid. Jesse. All right, thanks, Matt. Let's bring in Jason Chaffetz, a former Utah congressman and Fox News contributor. Jason, what you think happened tonight? Um, do we have him? Yeah, there, there is absolutely no justification, Jesse. Absolutely no justification. I, I dealt with this. I was the chairman of the Oversight Committee. I did issue subpoenas on Hillary Clinton. At the time, she had no security clearance, none. And there were thousands of documents in her safe at her attorney. They had no security clearance. And you know what? Nobody was prosecuted. Nobody was raided. Nobody went in there in the dead of night. None of the media was give, given this. Then media, by and large, didn't even report it. The president of the the United States, a former president of the United States, has a security clearance. He also has a skiff. They have secure facilities that they created there at Mar-a-Lago. The president has executive privilege, so he has cl he has a classified clearance. This motherfucker thing is the dead of the night. I don't get it. He is allowed to possess these types of documents, and if you disagree, then you got to go to court. You got to have a way, not be a banana republic like this action is. Go to court, make your case, allow the president to defend himself in this case. But that's not what's happening here. I want to see these. I want to see Merrick Garland up there, and I want to understand exactly how in the world they can justify going in and breaking into a safe of a former president of the United States. They have no business doing that, none whatsoever. Well, Chris Ray has to be fired by the next Republican president. Got to be fired on day one. Don't what? even wait. Just fire him right off the jump. Because this guy is so corrupt, yeah. he comes in, cleans up Comey's mess with the Russia collusion hoax, doesn't do anything to anybody, doesn't... Wait. The true social Instagram keeps hinting at a Trump surprise for August 8th like he's Taylor Swift hyping up fans for a new record. Oh my god. Surprise. It was a f***ing raid. Dark Brandon strikes again.